Hey everybody, it's Ramona, and it's time for my weekly wax empties. Um, not too much. I wasn't really feeling great this week. I'm still not feeling great. It's a no makeup day. It's a no contact day. Just not feeling it. But let's do this anyway. Wax always makes you feel better, right? Okay. So I think this is the last one of these little $3 candles that I got from um, Target. This was in Freesia Garden. Slight scent. It was only $3. It was cute. But, you know, they were 3 bucks. I wouldn't buy them again. Um, <clears throat> I went through uh, Sassy Girl Rose Jam Hello Lover. This was so, 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 so good. This I got a D-Stash. Um, Gosh, I don't know, like six months ago maybe or so. Um, I love Hello Lover. And I, I didn't know at the time that I liked Rose Jam because I didn't really know about Rose Jam really until um, Canada Kim 1978 is in love with Rose Jam. And coincidentally, yesterday or the day before, she posted her Rose Jam uh comparison and if you're not following Canada Kim you really should Canada Kim 1978 she's awesome her videos are amazing anyway uh, Rose Jam Hello Lover Hello Lover is like a lemon shortbread uh, something like that I think and I just love it love it love it so when I saw the the Hello Lover in it I bought it and it was really really good I definitely would repurchase that if it ever comes up again well I'm not sure if I would purchase you know the drama and all I would repurchase in a D, D stash I know that for sure but anyway that was really good and also I finished from Sassy Girl Spicy Apple and Peach Celtic Moon Spice because um, I love Celtic Moon Spice anything Celtic Moon Spice I love it even on its own I add it to stuff I've gone over it many times so this was really good as well I really really got it was mostly apple mostly apple I did not get much peach out of it but it, it was still good I enjoyed it um, let's see what else do we have Dessa's homespun scent coconut and lime and uh, for me I love coconut on its own I love lime on its own so I keep buying coconut lime iterations of everything that I can get my hands on and it always smells like cologne to me no matter what who the vendor is you know Dessa's is a great vendor nothing against the vendor just me and coconut lime when it's together to me smells like cologne so uh, I will repurchase from Dessa's, but I won't repurchase any coconut lime because I've had it from Dessa's. I've had Better Homes and Gardens. I've had Scentsy. Um, I'm sure there's another one, but they all smell like cologne. Like, um, kind of like Old, not like Old Spice, no, because I don't know. It just smells like cologne. It doesn't smell like coconut. It doesn't smell like lime to me. Okay. Um, Kay's Creations sparkling pomelo I got this in a in the order I got just a couple of weeks ago all the mostly coffee scents and pomelo is a fruit but I didn't get much fruit out of this I don't know what I got out of this a little bit perfumey cologne but I didn't care for it I didn't care for it okay so then I got a D stash um, Another Sassy Girls D-Stash. I, I didn't even post it. I guess I probably should. Anyway, the, the person I got a D-Stash it from gave me a couple, couple samples as well. Peppermint Swizzle Sticks. This was really good. A really good. Oh, yeah. This is still super strong. If you like peppermint, uh, peppermint Swizzle Sticks, you probably will love because it is really pepperminty. It's really good. And the other one was Pink Watermelon. Um, and I did get a fruity note and also a pink, um, gosh, see, I can't even think of it because I'm really not feeling good. Um, oh, you know, pink, you know, pink everything. Everything is pink, 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 that pink. And so I don't care for that so much, so I probably would not reorder that. Uh, Goose Creek um, Melt in Juicy Pear which I really, really like. Yeah, I can still smell it. And it does smell like pear. I wanna say a cooked pear, but again, I could be just making that up, I don't know. 
but it does smell like pear. So the first time I melted it, when I got it, I only melted one cube, um, and I thought that wasn't it wasn't throwing, so I melted two cubes this time, or the next time, and finished it. And two cubes did much throw much better. And I really, like, 90% of Goose Creek melts really good for me, throws really good for me, and I, I really like that one. Uh, Destination Wax, Destination Wax Rose Water Lemonade. Um, and I'm gonna try to talk slower as well because I do talk fast and it was pointed out to me correctly so. Um, this one was mostly rose water. Uh, just a hint of lemon underneath but um, it was good because it wasn't like in your face grandma rose. It was like uh, just a soft rose and I did like that one. Uh, also in the Sassy Girl D stash I got was buttery croissants. This was really good, super strong. Oh, it just smells like, like yeast and like bread. It does smell like croissants. Really, really good. Um, I should have put it with like a blackberry something or other. I bet that would have been good. But anyway, that was good. Uh, Sassy Girl buttery croissants. And I have another little sample here. What is this? Oh yeah. Pumpkin butterscotch chip waffles. This was in a D-stash. I think the same Sassy Girl D-stash. Oh, this was so good. You know, I've never, I, I did not purchase, um, probably the only one who didn't, um, pumpkin pecan waffles. And I'm not really sure why I didn't. I just didn't think it would appeal to me. Although I like bakery scents. I don't know. I was just like, everything was just so overdone with, you know, pumpkin pecan waffles is like, yeah, whatever. But anyway, so I'm assuming that this would probably taste like pumpkin pecan waffles. Um, and it's really good. It's bakery. And, um, and I also, I do get the butterscotch in here. Yep. I do get butterscotch. Um, and that was the bathing garden. So that was good. I have like a, t I just, I need to, I think what I'm going to do next, this coming up week is have weekly melts of a vendor because I have so much bathing garden I need to get through. I have so much sassy girl. I have so much scentsy. I have so much Walmart um, that I just really need to really get a dent in it. I have just, I'm not, I have a couple orders on coming. Um, I have the bathing garden when she made the change in her policy. I ordered um, under the sea then. I don't know. I just, and I wasn't going to just when like this change, like, oh, you better order then. It's like, oh, I'm okay. I won't get an order. And then I ordered, um, I have a destination wax order pending and I have the root candles pending and yeah. Okay. We'll just move on. Uh, Sensationals Honeysuckle. This Sensationals See, it's, the, it's a little bit different. I get at my grocery store called HEB, and they carry a whole different line of Sensationals that are not at Walmart. This was good. It's, if, it's definitely floral. It's definitely honeysuckle. So uh, if you don't like florals, this will not be for you because it is a strong honeysuckle scent, but I enjoyed it. I do like it. Um, again, this was the same one that I got at uh, HEB, Lavender Vanilla. This had a funny, um, it does smell like lavender, but a couple of nights, I put it in my bedroom and it even woke me up and I had to turn it off because it has a kind of an, I can't even explain it, an unpleasant undertone to it, which I can't explain. I'm sorry, it was not helpful there. Perfect Winter Kiss, Winter Cuddle and Frosted Mint. So when the new Walmart wax was out the other day, of course I grabbed a bunch. I grabbed a bunch for somebody that you'll see probably coming up. Um, and so I bought some for me as well. And this one really sounded intriguing. Winter Cuddle and Frosted, uh, frosted Mint. Uh, and it's pretty much a cologne scent. I was really disappointed. Um, it's very, it's, it threw extremely well, like five out of five. Like the whole house smelled like this. Uh, unfortunately, I mean, it wasn't awful. It wasn't a bad scent, but it was, it just wasn't what I expected it to be. I thought it was going to be more minty, like cool and minty and frosty. Um, but it was kind of cologne -y. So, um, if you like cologne scents, you'll probably like it. And, and I shouldn't say, I mean, I didn't 
I disliked it only in the fact that it wasn't what I thought it was going to be, but it still was good. It was okay. I, uh, I still have another one in there, so I have to uh, melt it. Better Homes and Gardens Banana Pumpkin Bread. Um, I was really, really excited to get this because I, I've said it so many times, um, Providence, uh, Lake Providence Lodge has the best banana bread ever. And so I was hoping this would be like that so I could, you know, buy it, you know, locally and da 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 da, da. But it's good, but it's still not as good as Lake Providence Lodge. So that's where I'll be getting my banana bread. Um, it's mostly... It is, it's, it is banana bread, um, probably 50-50 pumpkin. I know a lot of people are getting straight up banana. I My nose, I did not get straight up pump, uh, banana, sorry. I got a little bit of both. Uh, salted pistachio sorbet, this also is really popular. Everybody loves this. I did not love it. I'm not a fan of like almond extract, almond scents. Um, We'll just leave it at that. And the last one is Sensational's Rainy Day, Pure Water Lily and the Warmth of White Musk. This is really, really good. I love this one. If you like, like, fresh, watery scents, uh, you know, I'm also getting, even now that, yeah, after I melted it, just in the box, I'm getting, like, a little, tiny bit, no, I'm not going to say it, the C word, but, um, this is really good. I would. I have repurchased this already. I have it in in backup. So this is really good. Rainy day. Love it. Love it. Love it. So that was it. I'm kind of all over the place because I'm really not myself. I'm still kind of feeling blah and whatever. Um, so anyway, this this week, like I said, I'm going to try doing it by vendor and see if I can make a dent in my D stash. Because um, last week I had was my first week. I had a melting box, and I thought that would help get through the stash, but. It didn't because I would just look in the melting box and it's like, well, I don't really feel like melting that, so I'll just pick something else. It was just, I'm still like kind of all over the place. I need to kind of get some organization and figure it out. But anyway, hoping to feel better soon um, and back to normal. So that's it. I will see you guys later. Um, have a good night. Bye.